This shit always happens. Do a stay copy and everybody. Now I discovered a fragrance off of Max Aroma. I copped this shit just by the name and by the presentation. The shit was called 69 and it was a great blind buy fragrance. I enjoyed it thoroughly and I felt like I discovered like that hidden gem that nobody's heard about. But of course I get shit from Duo all the time and they happen to have a clone of this fragrance that I thought nobody ever heard of. So let's roll my motherfucking music so we can do a side by side comparison with the original and the clone, see if they're any good or at least close. Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. C to the U to the B to the A. So the fragrance that I found off of Max Aroma is by the house of Christopher D. Cass, and that one is called 69. I bought it for these reasons. 69, the box is purple and gold, love those colors, and this squeezy thing. This squeezy thing, I've always wanted a fragrance to just spray this little squeezy thing so I could feel like fucking Elizabeth Taylor back in the 60s, 70s, whatever the fucking year she was around, and feel like a luscious diva. I just thought this was fucking cool. Now, but this is what it looks like without the actual bottle piece, and I truthfully took it off because that shit was dripping like Jerry Curls in the 80s off the bottle, and it started just seeping for some reason. Might have to do with this shit being all sideways and crooked like my dick, but either way, I took it off and put the original back on. Now, Dua does have a clone that is called Pleasures. So, 69 Pleasures. I mean, 69 is Pleasures. What are we doing? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. I'm gonna give you my honest interpretations. Again, I get shit from Duo all the time. Yes, I have a relationship with Duo. Am I gonna lie on their behalf? No, but it's all subjective. Everybody's gonna believe what they wanna believe and I give three fucks. So I'm gonna spray this on the test strip. All right, this is empty. So I'm gonna spray 69, two sprays. I'm not gonna smell it yet. And then I'm gonna do pleasures, two sprays. One, two and let's see if they're even comparable. So I got the Dua one here, and I got 69 over here. Let me start with 69, because that shit was just, I mean, let's go. Sexy, cardamom, ginger, bright, floral, elegant. Ah, oh, this is, oh God, I don't even want to smell the Dua one right now. Mm. This was such a fucking fire discovery. It's not a cheap fragrance, but it's not uber expensive either. I thought this was a great blind buy after I smelled it. I was a little reluctant because I literally just bought it because of the packaging, but ended up in loving it. All right, let's check the dual version. Let's see what's up. Okay. All right. It's not 100%. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. It's not 100%, not on paper at least. So, there's a synthetic brightness on the dual one that isn't present on paper for 69. 69 has this more sensual flow about it off the paper strip, and this one has this brightness that is in this fragrance, but it's a little bit more enhanced in the dual version. But, I mean, right now I'm at an 80. It's feeling like the dual one is gas chromatographing all the notes that are in this fragrance to match them, but they haven't gelled as of yet on paper. Let's try them on skin and see if there's any difference. I'm gonna do one big spray, one, and one big spray on this side, one, and let's give it side by side off skin. Skin is different from paper. I forget that all the time. Why? Because I just, I go, I fly by the seat of my pants and I just do what's fun for me. And this is just how I operate. Fuck it. All right, let me go back to the 69 joint. Bright, sexy, ginger, creamy. It's coming off my skin very extra creamy today. Cardamom creamy, uh, like a little lily of the valley kind of vibe. Very, very, oh God. This is so good. That was such a good blind cop. It's been a while since I've had such a great blind cop. Let's go to this pleasure shit. Okay. Still not 100%, but a lot closer off of skin. This still seems a little bit brighter than 69. 
this one has a brighter gingery note. It's even a little bit more spicy off of my skin, but again, the note matching is absolutely there. Just the composition of the notes having completely gelled, at least in this opening slash mid where it's at right now, to give it 100% comparison. And it's really hard to get any fucking clones at 100%, let's be clear, like, come on. The 69 off of my skin just comes off a lot more sultry and creamier off of my skin, it's melodically composed. But it's not 80 off of my skin, it's bumped up like 10, 12 points because Note matching, as far as like, if these two smell alike, they absolutely smell alike, but they are not identical. This is equally sexy and absolutely does smell like this fragrance, but not every nuance. Off of my skin, 69 is still creamier, it has more depth. It has a little bit of a mouth, corner mouth watering feel that I'm getting from 69. This one, has more of 69 with a brighter ginger, a very loud ginger and some brighter spiciness, like a red pepper as opposed to a black pepper. And the white floral here seems a little bit more brighter and airier. So the more this pleasures dies down, cause this one's kind of just chilled in where it's gonna be, I feel like I'm at a 90 to 92%, which is fairly fucking close for what? This was I me. Mean, I'm not here to count your pockets. 225, 60 bucks before any coupon. There's coupons always. So this is eventually gonna be in the 40 something dollar space versus 225. I'm sure Max Aroma dropped some sort of coupon for this at some point or coupons on their website. So let's bring this down to, let's say 180. Let's say if it ever comes down to 180 bucks or fuck it, you don't get it at Max Aroma, you get it anywhere else in that 160, 180 space versus 40 to 60 bucks for 92% off of my skin, 92% close. This one still better, but 225 ish, 60 bucks ish. I mean, they're very close. This one is just still brighter, sharper, and more gingery. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description for this and this one, and you guys decide where you wanna go original or save some coin. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what is biggest in the game? Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.